It's funny how so many predictions of the rapture show us losing our clothes and being naked. I don't think we're gonna be naked. But if I get raptured in the shower, How many Christians are there in the world? 2.3 billion Christians. See here, 2.3. That's a big number. That's bigger than I thought it was. Not all 2.3 billion people who claim to be Christians are truly born again. I think it's safe to say that at least 1 billion people are truly born again Christians because I don't know how many out of that number are actually saved. One of the most preposterous beliefs held by most Christians is that one day at least 1 billion or so people are going to float into the clouds and meet Jesus in the air. Most Christians agree that Paul is referring to an actual event that will happen in the future. We call this the rapture, which comes from the Latin translation of the Greek word harpazo, which means to snatch away. Let me read this. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 16, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Verse 17, Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. That part in verse 17 where it says caught up together, the Greek word is harpazo. So rapture is in the Bible, it's just in the Latin Bible, the one that Jerome translated in the fourth century. We call this the Vulgate. So again, most Christians don't deny the rapture. The controversy lies within the realm of the timing. When does it actually happen? The rapture takes place prior to the 70th week of Daniel, also known as the seven year tribulation and the day of the Lord. There are multiple reasons why I think the pre-trib view is correct, but there's one place in the Bible that trumps all the others, and it's a pretty good one. It's the royal flush, the walk-off grand slam, the silver bullet. It's the departure found in 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 3. Let no one in any way deceive you, for it will not come unless the apostasy comes first and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the son of destruction. The it in this verse is the day of the Lord. Paul is telling the Thessalonians that they can't be living in the day of the Lord because these two distinct events must occur first. Number one, the apostasy. Number two, the man of lawlessness is revealed which is pretty distinct. Daniel Davey says, since the Greek language does not need an article to make the noun definite, it becomes clear that with the usage of the article, reference is being made to something in particular. Paul is pointing to a particular type of departure clearly known to the Thessalonian church. The departure Paul previously referred to was our being gathered to him in verse one, and our being caught up with the Lord and the rapture dead in the clouds from 1 Thessalonians 4.17. The departure was something that Paul and his readers clearly had a mutual understanding about. Paul says in verse 5, Do you not remember that while I was still with you, I was telling you these things? The use of the definite article would also support the notion that Paul spoke of a clear, discernible event. Navi. Yes. Give me the Greek word apostasia in English. I'm on it. Which Greek lexicon do you want to see? Navi, I have no clue. You're the computer. You pick one. I trust you. I will use the mother of all Greek lexicons, Little and Scott. That sounds perfect. Let's do it. The first definition is defection, revolt. The second one is departure, disappearance. The first seven English Bible translations of apostasy rendered the noun as either departure or departing. Would you like to see the list? Yes, I do. All of these English translations render the word apostasia as a departure. Jerome's Latin translation known as the Vulgate from around the time of AD 400 
renders apostasia with the word decessio, meaning departure. So why was the King James Version the first to depart from the established translation of departure? It appears that the Catholic translation in English from Jerome's Latin Vulgate, known as the Reims Bible of 1576, was the first to break the translation trend of apostasia to departure. Apostasia was revised from the departure to the Protestant revolt. Revolution is the terminology still in use today when Catholicism teaches the history of the Protestant Reformation. Under this guise, apostasia would refer to a departure of Protestants from the Catholic Church. By 1611, when the original version of the King James Bible came out, the translators changed the English translation tradition from departure to falling away, which implied apostasy. Such a change was a theological response to the Catholic notion that the Reformation was a revolt against the true church. Instead, Protestants saw Catholic beliefs as the falling away or the great apostasy. This would mean that the shift in translation was not based upon research of the meaning of the original language, but as a theological polemic against the false teachings of Romanism. The literary structure also supports the rapture view. Later in 2 Thessalonians 2, 6 through 8, it repeats the same two events mentioned in chapter 2, verse 3. Both events are stated twice. First, the departure and the revelation of the man of sin. Second, the restrainer, which is the Holy Spirit, is taken out of the way which is the rapture, since the Holy Spirit lives inside the church. And that lawless one will be revealed. Thomas I says if the departure is some form of apostasy, then the parallelism is broken. To sum it all up, Paul is teaching that the rapture must occur before the day of the Lord or the seven year tribulation. The purpose of 2 Thessalonians is to comfort the believers in light of the false teaching that they were already living in the tribulation. If apostasia refers to a departure from the faith before the tribulation, then how is that a comfort? We are told to look for Christ. That's it. Here's your latest forecast on the Word News WFTL 88.3 FM. For tonight, mostly clear with wind coming out of the south gusting up to 15 miles per hour, a 40% chance of rain with a low of 72 degrees. As the number of COVID-19 cases continues to increase across the nation, the CDC has steps to prevent COVID-19, keeping space between you and others is one of the best tools we have to avoid being exposed to this virus and slowing its spread locally and across the country and world. In other news, tensions in the Middle East have eased for the moment. This is an emergency action notification. Please pay attention to the following message and instructions. The following message is being transmitted at the request of the Department of Homeland Security. Strategic Air Command has spotted multiple bogies on their radars entering the atmosphere. Their locations at this time are unknown, and it is unknown if these bogies are military aircraft or extraterrestrial. Please take caution as these bogies may not be friendly. The following message is being transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. In shelter warning has been issued for the entire United States until further notice. All residents are urged to take shelter immediately. The bogies that were spotted on Strategic Air Command radar are now confirmed hostile extraterrestrial aircraft and have begun a major attack on multiple U.S. cities. Do not leave your shelter for any reason until the all-clear has been given. More cities are expected to be attacked within the next 12 hours. Please stay tuned to your local news station for further updates.
it is kind of weird that everyone always depicts us. Uh, it is kind of weird that we all lose our clothes. I mean, can you imagine all of us up there in the clouds, floating around naked, looking at each other naked? I don't think Jesus is going to be naked, so why would he want us to be naked? And maybe our glorified bodies, I don't All I know is whenever Jesus, when it, all I know is when Jesus was in his glorified body appearing to many, he wasn't naked. So I don't think we're going to be naked. How many times have I said naked? Now, I'm not about to set a date. I have no clue when the rapture is going to happen. All I know is that it's going to happen before the tribulation period.